In the last video, we talked about step one of design thinking, empathize. If you haven't watched that, please do so before I continue with the rest of the video. I'm sure it'll help. Disclaimer, what are we gonna cover in this video will not make you a design thinking practitioner. That would take a lot more hours of learning and practice session. However, it should be enough for you to try design thinking on your own. All right, let's jump straight to the main topic of the day. Step two, define. Remember that in step one, we interviewed our users and hopefully you have collected a ton of information. Now, under step two, we're gonna massage those information. It's time to squeeze and distill insights from them. And with these insights, we'll then move on to define what are the real pressing problems that we can help them solve. One thing to really pay attention to is to structure your information well. There's no specific way of how you should do it, but the better you can do it, the better it will help you to see patterns in your data. That will bring you great insights. One tip I can give you is to pay close attention to the common things that is mentioned across your users, no matter how insignificant they may seem to be, because very often that could be a gold nugget waiting to be found. All right, it's time for us to move on to the next step, ideate. See you in the next video.